Hmm. Let's try this again. <clears throat> Hi there. It's me, your friendly neighbor, Humble Stroke Assaulter. So I'm here in Fredericton, New Brunswick. This is an Airbnb. This has nothing to do with me whatsoever. So you're asking yourself a question. What are you doing in Fredericton, New Brunswick? I'm glad you asked. Um, here for my girlfriend's graduation. She's graduating from her master's in counseling psychology. So we're out celebrating that. We're going to be celebrating my new first birthday tomorrow. Um, and that gravity of that situation hasn't quite sunk in yet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, although I was on the Twitters <clears throat> and I did notice that the Stroke Association out of the United Kingdom has recently put out probably one of the largest um, stroke survivor studies that have been done. Uh, so I'm going to take the time to download the documents, read them all, because there are some very significant little tidbits of information from what little I've read of it. There are some very significant tidbits of information. Um, things that I think in many ways are going to revolutionize the post-stroke care and the post-stroke sort of institutional response. Um, a few things that I've read, and again, I've only read sort of the, the press release highlights, they're a bit concerning. Um, they're, they're, because they're going to change how practitioners look at a post-stroke world. Practitioners are very good at diagnosing the stroke, at treating the stroke. They're, I'm going to be honest, not that good at treating the life after the stroke. So on that note, I'm going to keep you fine people uh, apprised of what we're doing occasionally. <clears throat> I might do a live stream at some point. And then for those of you that have enjoyed what you've been watching coming up on a year tomorrow, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you know someone going through a post-stroke journey or supporting someone going through a post-stroke journey, please point the channel out to them. They might get some value to the content that I have generated and will be generating. And again, if you happen to see either in yourself or somewhere around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke, please immediately seek help. Call 911.